Few believed it when the first rumors began to circulate. A Tesla for just $10,275. The amount seemed like the stuff of optimistic daydreaming, especially in a scenario where electric vehicle prices still pose a barrier for millions of people around the world. But now, internal documents, environmental filings in Mexico, and even enigmatic statements from Elon Musk are moving everything from rumor to reality, closer to exploding onto the market. The so-called Model 2 won't just be Tesla's cheapest car yet, it promises to be the keystone of an unprecedented industrial revolution in the automotive sector. The engine behind this transformation begins at the foundation, the Gigafactory currently under construction in Monterrey, Mexico. This facility is not just another Tesla factory, but the nerve center of a new global strategy. The location was not chosen at random. The proximity to the United States drastically reduces logistics costs. While the local workforce offers a rare combination of technical qualifications and reduced costs, but the plant's real distinguishing feature lies in its design. It will be the first to operate entirely under the unboxed process model, a parallel assembly methodology that dispenses with the traditional sequential production line. Instead of the car being piecemeal, station by station, Tesla will build the main modules, front, rear, battery, and cabin, simultaneously in independent cells. Everything comes together at the end, like a massive precision-engineered puzzle. This process, which can reduce vehicle manufacturing time by up to 75%, is what allows the Model 2 to be priced so aggressively without sacrificing profit margins. According to internal estimates, when the Gigafactory reaches full capacity, Tesla will be able to produce up to 4 million units per year, more than double the company's entire global production in 2023. This volume alone would be a historic feat. But the real catch lies in the project's ambition. It's not just about launching a budget car, but rather completely redefining what's expected of an entry-level electric vehicle. Contrary to what many might assume, the Model 2 won't be a pared-down or limited-edition version. It's born with a new DNA, designed from the ground up for mass scalability, with optimized components, a simplified structure, and a design compatible with global production. All this engineering is being protected by an avalanche of new patents that Tesla has been discreetly registering since early 2024. Among the most intriguing patents are solutions such as a modular chassis with intelligent fittings, batteries integrated into the vehicle's structure, and a body molded with as few parts as possible. All of this aims to eliminate steps, reduce human error, and increase speed. This obsession with efficiency isn't gratuitous. For a car to cost less than $11,000 and still be profitable, every second on the assembly line, every screw saved, and every pound lost makes a difference. The goal is simple. Produce faster, spend less, and deliver more than any competitor. The cherry on the cake is timing. Tesla's schedule points to the start of production in June 2026, with deliveries later that year. The Gigafactory's construction phases are already underway, and according to environmental and logistical records obtained by specialized journalists, phase one of the plant should be completed by the end of 2025. This leaves a tight but viable window to validate the systems, train teams, and begin manufacturing the first batch at scale. And considering Tesla's history of delays and bold promises, this new cycle brings something unprecedented, concrete and visible signs that the machine is already in motion. As the promise of a low-cost Tesla begins to take shape at the Mexican Gigafactory construction sites, behind the concrete walls, a quiet revolution in the way cars are assembled is taking shape. What was once done in dozens of consecutive stations will now be divided into four parallel zones, with robots working simultaneously on the main modules. This not only eliminates the traditional back and forth of the production line, but also drastically reduces the number of components, manual steps, and potential errors. And this is precisely the spirit of the Model 2. 
Simplicity with purpose. At the heart of this new concept is the use of the GigaPress, a machine capable of applying over 9,000 tons of pressure to mold large parts of the car into a single piece. This is not only efficient, it's revolutionary, a process that previously required hundreds of components and welds can now be completed in minutes with absolute precision. The Model 2 will adopt this type of structure throughout the body, as already seen in parts of the Model Y and the Cybertruck, but now in an even more integrated manner. The goal is to reduce the number of structural parts from over 300 to fewer than 10, without compromising strength or safety. With fewer parts, fewer screws, fewer steps, and less margin for error, the entire process becomes not only faster, but also cheaper. This opens the door to a cleaner, more functional design with less reliance on external suppliers. The Model 2 will take full advantage of this philosophy featuring a minimalist body without grills or exaggerated decorative elements. The lines will be smooth, with flush-mounted door handles, frameless windows, and a look that emphasizes aerodynamics over embellishment, all with a single purpose, to do more with less, and to do so on a global scale. This clean design is also reflected in the materials used. Tesla is aiming for production that drastically reduces its environmental impact, using recycled plastics in interior parts, plant-based materials in upholstery, and even new plant-based foam blends. The goal is not only to please consumers' eco-consciousness, but also to simplify the manufacturing process. Fewer types of materials mean fewer suppliers, less complexity in assembly, and easier adaptation of the car to the regulations of each country where it will be sold. Inside, the Model 2 will maintain the familiar Tesla vehicle language. Total minimalism. A single central display will control all the car's functions, eliminating dozens of physical buttons and controls. This reduces costs, yes, but it also brings flexibility. With the right software, the same car can have different functions activated by market, version, or via simple remote updates. It's the idea of a vehicle that starts simple, and adapts as time, the user, and needs change. And this is only possible because the foundation of everything, structure, assembly, components, was designed from the beginning with this principle in mind. The Model 2's modular architecture also paves the way for something rare in entry-level cars, customization. With quick-fit systems and less reliance on screws and welding, Tesla will be able to offer small variations in interior, space, or finish with minimal impact on the production line. This means the same car can cater to everyone from young urbanites to small families with just a few interior tweaks. And all of this will be possible because the car wasn't born from a design adapted from previous models, but rather from a blank slate shaped for the future but with its feet firmly planted in the realm of mass production. With this entire structure designed to reduce costs and speed up production, the next challenge would be precisely the heart of the car, the battery. After all, there's no point in creating an efficient and affordable vehicle if the main energy source remains expensive and limited. And that's where the new generation of the 4680 battery, informally dubbed Gen 2, comes in. Unlike the original version used in the Model Y and Cybertruck, this new cell has adjusted dimensions and structural improvements that make all the difference, especially when talking about compact vehicles like the Model 2. The idea is simple. Maintain the power, but reduce size, cost, and heat. The Gen 2 cell will be smaller in height, from 80 to 70 millimeters. But this isn't just a matter of shape. This change allows the battery pack to be flatter, which lowers the car's center of gravity and frees up more interior space. At the same time, it improves thermal efficiency, meaning less risk of overheating and longer durability. And since this new model will have less physical space available, smart use of battery volume will be essential to achieve good performance. Tesla is betting that this new generation will be able to deliver over 400 miles of range, even with a smaller and cheaper pack. This superior range is the result of multi-layered engineering. 
First, there's the direct benefit from the vehicle's aerodynamics, which have been optimized to consume less energy per kilometer driven. Then there's the weight factor. With a lighter, more streamlined structure, the Model 2 requires less effort to move. And finally, the new battery's chemistry is being refined to better handle fast charges and heavy use cycles, maintaining cell health even after thousands of recharges. All this combined allows for a respectable range without the need for a massive and expensive battery bank. Another key point is the flexibility of this new battery during the assembly process. Because the pack will be structural, that is, it will be part of the car's chassis, it won't just be an energy box installed later, but rather a central element of the design. This reduces parts, improves vehicle rigidity, and facilitates repairs and upgrades. While in older cars the battery was a standalone item, it's now part of the Model 2's skeleton. This type of integration ensures not only efficiency on the production line, but also greater safety and space efficiency in the driver's daily life. Furthermore, this Gen 2 battery is already being prepared for mass production. Factories like Panasonic's in Kansas and Tesla's in Austin and Nevada are being equipped to deliver tens of gigawatt hours per year, starting in 2026. This shows that the company isn't just promising, it's actually laying the infrastructure to make this battery the new standard. And the more units produced, the lower the cost per cell will be. This scale will be crucial to keeping the Model 2 dollar poiketi, not to below the $11,000 price tag without compromising its range or durability. It's also worth noting that this new battery also facilitates simpler maintenance and more efficient reuse. Because the design was designed with modularity in mind, replacing a specific module can be done more quickly without having to disassemble the entire car. And because Tesla is investing heavily in battery recycling and reuse programs, this modular approach also helps with the car's end-of-life cycle. In short, the 4680 Gen 2 isn't just another battery. It's a strategic component that combines performance, cost, sustainability, and scalability in a way previously unseen in compact vehicles. All this technology concentrated in a single model raises an inevitable question. How is it possible to offer so many features at such a low price? The answer lies precisely in the way every detail was planned from the beginning. The Model 2 isn't an adaptation of existing models, but a project born with the goal of being affordable. And that's why, even with an estimated price of 10,175 lirves, it won't come bare bones from the factory. On the contrary, it will offer a package of features that, until recently, were only found in models three or four times more expensive. And this includes driver assistance technology, comprehensive digital integration, and constant software updates. One of the main highlights will be Tesla Vision, a system that replaces traditional sensors with cameras and artificial intelligence. With billions of kilometers of data accumulated by Tesla fleet cars around the world, this system is already capable of identifying traffic patterns, obstacles, and behaviors with impressive accuracy. And most interestingly, it doesn't require additional hardware to evolve. A software update is all it takes. This means the Model 2 can become smarter over time, something rare in entry-level cars. And because the vehicle will come with the necessary hardware already installed, the user won't have to pay for additional equipment later. Another key element will be connectivity with the Tesla app. The phone will be the car key, the control panel, and even the remote control point for preheating the interior, checking battery status, or locating the vehicle. More than 90% of Tesla users currently use the app daily, and this integration will be maintained or even expanded in the Model 2. This eliminates the cost of physical keys, reduces manufacturing complexity, and, once again, keeps the car's price under control without sacrificing the user experience. Furthermore, the car will be able to receive remote commands and diagnostics simplifying both use and maintenance. Speaking of maintenance, over-the-air updates, or OTA, 
will be one of this model's biggest advantages. Instead of taking the car to the dealership to install upgrades, everything will be done online. New navigation features, fuel efficiency improvements, autopilot behavior adjustments, and even security fixes can be sent directly from the cloud to the vehicle at no extra cost. This not only ensures a more up-to-date and safer car, but also extends the vehicle's lifespan, making the $10,000 investment even more worthwhile over the years. And anyone who thinks that because it's an entry-level model, the Model 2's interior will be too simple is mistaken. Tesla plans to maintain the minimalist design, but with sustainable materials and a well-crafted finish. No more buttons scattered across the dashboard. Everything will be controlled by a central screen, as is the case with the brand's other models. The difference is that the onboard operating system will be optimized to run on leaner hardware, maintaining a fluid experience. Even with a reduced cost, the Model 2's interior will be connected, functional, and futuristic, all within a space designed to adapt to everyday needs. The package should also include the new FSD 5.0 hardware, even though enabling full self-driving is optional. This new hardware features higher definition cameras, a new processor designed in-house by Tesla, and more efficient cooling. This ensures that in the future, if the owner wants to unlock more advanced features, the car will already be ready for it. This pay later for what you want. Philosophy is a smart move, as it lowers the price of the entry-level model while also opening up space for Tesla to monetize via software in the long run. The end result? An affordable car, yet incredibly prepared to evolve over time. If the Model 2 impresses on the outside with its affordable proposition and unexpected technologies, on the inside, it also promises to deliver game-changing performance. This isn't just a cheap car for city driving, expected acceleration from 0 to 60 match in around 6.5 seconds, which already outperforms most combustion engine sedans in the same price range. This places the Model 2 in a curious place, fast enough to not feel like an entry-level car, yet still economical and efficient. It's the kind of balance that typically requires compromises, but here seems to emerge as a natural consequence of the design. The rear-wheel drive motor, the same basic concept used in the entry-level Model 3, will be responsible for this agility. This type of powertrain improves performance without overcomplicating manufacturing and also provides more stable cornering. Top speed should be electronically limited to around 120 marathemas, sufficient for everyday driving and within the legal limits of most countries. In other words, the Model 2 won't be a rocket but it will certainly outpace many traditional cars at traffic lights, and all without consuming a drop of fuel. Energy efficiency also comes into play as one of the major differentiators. It's estimated that the Model 2 can surpass the 5 miles per kilowatt mark, which would make it one of the most efficient electric vehicles on the planet. For comparison, the current Model 3 averages around 4.2 miles per kilowatt. This number may seem small, 